In this presentation we're going to look at graph theory and in particular we're going to have a look at paths and cycles. This is part of my discrete maths uh, series of presentations. So here's the question. We have a graph here, G, and I have the adjacency matrix up here, or the adjacency list, and what I'm first asked to do is write out the degree sequence of this. So we have a vertex here, and it is connected, vertex 1 is co connected to vertex 2, vertex 3, and vertex 4. It has a degree of 3. This vertex here is connected to four other vertices, so it has de degree sequence, or degree 4, 3, 3, and 1. So list the degree sequence of this here. So we'd actually write it uh, in descending order. So we start with 4 first. 4, 3, 3, 3, and 1. The next thing we have to do is draw the graph. So what I'm going to do here is in the top right, I'm going to start off by drawing the, the vertex with the highest degree, which is vertex 2. I'm going to connect it to vertex, other, all the other vertices here. Now I have a sort of a fair idea what it looks like, so I'm just drawing it out in a particular way. So I'm going to draw that here first. And I'm going to connect these two together. So this is how we might draw it here. I'm just going to colour in the vertices, blue. And there we go. No, one more. We're going to have to connect these two here. So we've just better look at this now. So first off we have in the middle we have degree of uh, vertex 2 over here. And this is connected to vertex 1, vertex 3, and vertex 4, and also vertex 5. So let's uh, look at this now. So I have vertex 1 here. It is connected to vertex 2, vertex 3, and vertex 4. Vertex 2 is connected to all four of them, all four of the other vertices, V1, V2, V3, V4. Vertex 3 is connected to V1, V3, and V4, uh, v, uh, V1, V2, and V4. And likewise, Vertex 4 is connected to V1, V3, and V2. And V5 on its own is connected to Vertex 2 there only. So it has degree 1 and it is connected to vertex 2 only. Now it takes a little bit of trial and error so what you, the best thing to do to, uh, when you're drawing these is actually to first off try and start with the vertex with the highest degree and then uh, work downwards or work in the inter, uh, look at the uh, vertices of the next highest degree which would be these ones here and at the end uh, work with the vertex with the lowest degree work in that particular order there. Um, now, so what we're going to draw now is to find two distinct paths of length 3 starting at V3 and ending at V4. This is the main part of the presentation. So let's uh, look at that now. So find the two distinct paths of length 3 starting at V3 and ending at V4. So if it is of length 3, it must pass through 3 vertices, sorry, 3 edges. So let's have an example of one here. Um, a path from V3 to V4, like that, has only of length 1. It only uses one edge. For, uh, for example, if we were to go through V1, like this, go up there first, and then come down here, that will only have length of 2. So what we have to do is find uh, two different ways of uh, a path of length 3. So what we might do first off is go from V3, our starting position, and go down to V2. Then go up to V1. And then go from V1 to V4. So that's one of our paths. So that, that that's one path that is allowable. Let's go and find another path. And I'll use blue this time. Well what I could do first off is go from V3 to V1 then, 
then go from V1 to V2 and then from V2 to V4. So that's another uh, possible path of length 3. So we have in the first in the second case V3 to V1 to V2 to V4. The first case was V3 to V2 to V1 to V4. Okay. So that's two distinct paths of length 3 starting at V3 and ending at V4. Now what we're going to do is find a cycle of length 4 in G. Well the difference between a cycle and a path is that a cycle has to start and end at the same place. A path can uh, end at two distinct vertices where a cycle must end and start and end at the same place. So we have plenty of options here. So essentially ha we have to use four edges in our path. So I'm going to start with V1. So let's go down here to V4 first. That's one edge used. V2. Okay. Now I could go from V3 or uh, V2 back to V1, but that wouldn't give us a, a, a path, a cycle of length four. So what I'm going to do is go instead to V3, and then go to V1, and that gives us a cycle of length. Now I arbitrarily picked V1 as a starting point, but if I picked any other of the any other of those vertices used, I would have got the same answer. Now I can only use an edge once, so that's why I can't use V5. If I was go from V2 to V5, I just get stuck down in V5. I would not be able. Uh, I wouldn't be able to come back. Come back. A path should only. A cycle should only use an edge once. And that ends our presentation.